Here we have a GraphQL Yoga worker that is deployed at the edge with Cloudflare workers. We have one query to fetch a card by ID. If we open the network tools and we execute a few GraphQL operations here, we can see that the response from Cloudflare is very fast. But to deploy this, we had to go into our terminal and run npm run deploy, which under the hood runs Wrangler publish. Doing this every time you make a change is cumbersome, takes time, and it isn't a smooth experience. What we want to do instead is create a GitHub action that automatically does this whenever we merge to the main branch. Let's create a new repository in GitHub. We'll make this a public repo. Instead of our worker, we have imported GraphQL Yoga, we've created a schema using type definitions, and we have a resolver that returns from the cart query some static data. We then export Yoga using fetch, we pass along the request, the environment with any bindings to any other Cloudflare services, and then we have the context for the execution. We remove the landing page, we pass along the schema, and we host the GraphQL endpoint at the root. Now let's go ahead and add everything to Git. Once that's added, then let's add our origin and push that to GitHub. If you go back to GitHub and refresh, we'll see that we have the contents of our repo here. Now back inside of our code, I'm going to create the file inside of the folder .github workflows, the file deploy.yml. We'll give this workflow a name, deploy. Let's specify that this runs on push to the branches main. Now all that's left to do is define a list of jobs. The first job will be deploy, and this runs on Ubuntu latest. We'll then specify all of the different steps that this deploy job does when GitHub Actions runs. So let's give the first thing a name, which will be checkout repository. And this uses actions slash checkout at v3. Next, we'll go ahead and install the dependencies. We'll then call run npm install to install those dependencies. And then for the next step is when we'll actually deploy to Cloudflare. So we'll give this a name, deploy to Cloudflare. We'll then need to specify some environment variables. Here we'll specify the environment variable Cloudflare API token, and we can fetch the value of this from our GitHub action secrets. Then finally, all we need to do here is run npm run deploy. If we open package JSON, we can see here that the npm script deploy runs Wrangler publish. Because I've already deployed this to Cloudflare workers, it will appear here inside of my workers overview. On the right, if you scroll down and click API tokens, it's here we'll need to create a new API token that can be used instead of our GitHub action to deploy our Cloudflare worker. You can see here that I already have a token called edit Cloudflare workers. And to create this, we can create a new token and we can use the edit Cloudflare workers template. If we use this and leave these defaults, you can change these if you need to, but let's scroll on through. And here we can specify all of the accounts and the zone resources that you need. Here I will just select everything in my account. Then I'll go on to create a new token. Cloudflare will give us an overview of what our token can do. So let's go ahead and then create this token. Let's copy this token and go on over to GitHub. If we open the repository settings and on the left, we scroll down and click sequence and variables, we click actions. It's here we can then create a new environment secret. So let's create a new repository secret and we'll give this a name of Cloudflare API token. Then we'll paste in that secret. Now let's go back to our code editor and commit that file, add workflow, and then we'll commit this. Once this has been pushed to GitHub, we should see a status of our current check. So here, if we click details to view more about the GitHub action that's running, we can see here that th this was successfully executed. We can see an outline of the steps that were taken. Here we have installed dependencies, then we have deployed to Cloudflare. If we open this, we can see that we ran npm run deploy and we have a successful URL. So this is all you need to do to connect GitHub to Cloudflare to automatically publish your GraphQL yoga server whenever you make any changes to the main branch. We'll explore deploying other branches as staging environments with Cloudflare in another video.